Tesla's next software release of the highly awaited full self-driving beta system will be based on the company's recent adoption of a pure vision approach and will be available in two to three weeks from now, according to Tesla CEO Elon Musk's announcement on Twitter last weekend. Mr. Musk also noted that the company would as well be rolling out a production release of the technology in the next few days. One more production release of Pure Vision this week, then FSD Beta 9 is a week or two later. Version 9 of full self-driving system is also Pure Vision. Foundational improvements are immense, Musk wrote in a tweet on the 6th of June. Recently, Tesla chose to ditch its self-driving tech radar sensors and replace them with cameras only. Mr. Musk talked about this on several occasions, and Tesla finally killed the radar and adopted a camera-based system for autopilot on the Model Y and Model 3 EVs just a few weeks ago. Ditching radar for most affordable EVs in North America raised some eyebrows, prompting Consumer Reports and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety to downgrade their safety ratings for both the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y vehicles. Vehicles delivered as of May 2021 lost their safety ratings because without radars, they cannot offer autonomous emergency braking and lane departure warning. Mr. Musk said that safety features such as emergency lane departure avoidance, auto steer, and smart summon would be enabled later and that they will only rely on cameras to operate. Tesla's full self-driving is one of the most sophisticated and robust programs in the autonomous driving industry. In the years past, the automakers utilized a suite of cameras and radar sensors across its models of electric vehicles to help identify roadways and travel on them with limited driver interference. Tesla cars are not fully autonomous, but through the semi-autonomous drive settings and other driver assistance options, many Tesla owners could fully utilize the vehicles without interacting with them. The approach, dubbed Tesla Vision, emphasizes the usage of cameras to improve the accuracy of the full self-driving suite. According to Mr. Musk, Tesla's examined the capabilities of the radar only to find out that a camera-based plan is all that is needed. During the first quarter 2021 earnings call in April, Mr. Musk took the opportunity to share some insights about getting rid of the radar support for electric vehicles. I think with the elimination of radar, we're finally getting rid of one of the last crutches. Radar was really, it was making up for some of the shortfalls of vision, but this is not good. You actually just need vision to work, Mr. Musk said. Now, the automakers planning to launch one more production release of Pure Vision EVs this week, followed by full self-driving beta version 9 release in the next two or three weeks. What's not clear about the highly anticipated version 9 is whether Tesla will actually be able to release it, as Tesla CEO Mr. Musk has in the past claimed that version 9 is a week or two away from actualization. In addition, speculations are that Tesla is planning to raise the subscription for the full self-driving suite from the current $10,000 to $14,000. Tesla's not responded to comment about any of these rumors, the automaker's been extremely cautious in the past over its autopilot and full self-driving rollout in its electric vehicles. According to Mr. Musk, the FSD program won't be available for Tesla customers in some countries for quite a while, as varying traffic rules are a major concern. Currently, Tesla Enhanced Autopilot is available to Tesla owners in Europe and China, where full self-driving has not been officially introduced yet. The full self-driving program is only available to selected car owners in the United States. Cautious releases have guaranteed the user's safety, especially in a sector with so much skepticism and criticism. Some still doubt if the pure vision will be safe in the long run. However, some Tesla owners have reported their pure vision Teslas have shown a major improvement in terms of FSD performance as opposed to EVs which were previously equipped with radars. Moreover, if the improvements that Mr. Musk talks so highly about are released in the coming weeks, Tesla could push for the Level 5 autonomy by the end of the year. Elon Musk has also promised that a pure vision system for its full self-driving beta tech and autopilot will work better, even if it features fewer means through which to interact with the surroundings. This news about Tesla Pure Vision is intriguing, especially after we spotted recently a Tesla Model Y running LiDAR. While it isn't a radar, LiDAR 
has long been a punching bag of the tech mogul, Mr. Musk, who wants to have full self-driving cars with no loads of extra gears on board. The American automaker Tesla is the company pursuing a vision-only approach route. Other major players like Waymo, Cruise and more have focused on LiDARs for their vehicles. Recently, a Model Y equipped with Tesla's eight external cameras and no radar was subjected to extreme automatic emergency braking stress and forward collision warning test by one of the owners of a new 2021 Tesla Vision Model Y. The new model owner wanted to examine the all-electric crossover's ability to recognize and avoid obstacles on a closed runway. Mr. Smith, that was the owner's name, used an inflatable clown to represent an obstacle that his new Model Y would have to avert to consider the automatic emergency braking and forward collision warning tests successful. The results of Mr. Smith's stress tests proved that the automaker's vision-based approach required some work early on. For that reason, Tesla deployed software update 2021.4.18.1, boosting the performance of the autopilot of its electric vehicles, based on pure vision. In a separate story, ARK Invest, an investment management company, has estimated that Tesla's robotaxi network could be more profitable than expected. ARK Invest's recent research into autonomous ride-hailing platforms has led the company to change tune on some of its predictions about the emerging multi-trillion dollar mobility. In its Big Ideas 2021 report, the research company has noted that this autonomous ride-hailing platform will cost consumers 25 cents per mile. ARK believes that rideshare services would eventually become more affordable compared to the costs of purchasing and operating a personal EV. All the autonomous taxis will be all electric and will operate at lower costs than their fossil fuel-powered counterparts. As a cheaper alternative, the investment management company has predicted that robotaxis would experience widespread adoption in the coming few years. Recently, ARK found that consumers may be able to travel on autonomous ride-hailing platforms for just 25 cents per mile, according to a study sponsored by Lyft and a report from the U.S. Department of Transportation. ARK estimates that consumers value an hour of travel time at roughly $18 per hour, or approximately $0.72 cents per taxi mile, Tasha Keeney, an analyst at ARK Invest, said. According to Ms. Keeney, passengers are willing to pay much higher prices to travel on autonomous ride-hailing platforms like Tesla's Robotaxi as they chauffeur them more conveniently and safely as opposed to human-driven taxis. The addressable market for a service priced at 72 plus cents per mile would be double our original estimates. Based on the approximate 2 trillion vehicle miles traveled annually in urban United States areas, the total available market would approach $1.6 trillion, Keeney said. Before realizing that passengers were willing to incur more on rideshare services, ARK Invest forecast that autonomous ride-hailing platforms could generate approximately between 6 to 7 trillion in revenue by 2030, reaching up to 60% take rates. ARK believes that the widespread adoption of ride-hailing technologies greatly depends on the rideshare company's capability to scale its operations. Last year, ARK estimated that there would be a 20% profitability of widespread adoption of rideshare service if Tesla successfully rolls out its robotaxi network by 2022, compared to 1% if other players like GM or Waymo were to lead this charge. The profitability of Tesla rolling out its robotaxi network in 2022 increases as the car maker improves its camera-based driver assist software. For instance, the automaker's move to pure vision on autopilot and full self-driving has marked a definitive step towards the rollout of a robotaxi fleet that is truly autonomous. However, the company is considering launching its robotaxi network with human drivers behind the steering wheels, something that the investment company believes could be just as profitable. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.